Hey guys, I'm the Sprinter 007 here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about an online music editor slash music maker, just like Magic's music maker, but it's a lot better than Magic's. That's what I personally think. Well, um, don't take it the wrong way, Magic's. I love your product. It's just that I wish you made it free. So I'm going to be doing this a pretty long 10-11 minute video just to see if uh, YouTube's 15 minute guidelines actually apply for non-partners. So go ahead and open up your internet browser. I hope you liked this video. I'm going to be spending a long time editing this because it's a little long. It's a little long video. It's my longest video so far, and it's only one part, so I know it's going to be long. Just stick with me, and I talk a lot, a lot of stuff, so don't miss out. Once you open up your uh, web browser in the web address bar, type in Aviary. Um, the, if you don't want to type it in, just look in the description and it will be there. And I prefer you look in the description. So go ahead and open up Audio Editor. And it should pop up something like this. It should be loading. Okay, so this is how it looks. It has a nice design. Just I hope it had a little drop shadow, which it does on the side, but hope these things had a drop shadow too. I also like the appearance of things a lot. So it looks really nice, it has a nice color scheme, just hoped it had a little more contrast to it. So, and you can read this uh, green a little bit better. Note that there's a quantum music library at the bottom, and if you click on that, you have to agree to the terms, and I hope you read them, just a couple of lines, because they are actually really important. So, okay, once the quantum quantum music library has opened up in the categories you have CDs you have styles and you have keywords I'm mostly going to keywords and if you're not familiar with this and I uh, if you're not then you should be watching this video so because I'm going to be talking about details of it that's why it's a really long video so in the keywords you have a lot of keywords you can use I really love the actions so you should check those out um, you can go I want outbound and this is really nice because if you want to make a music intro like I used to do um, when I used Camtasia Studio 7 which gave me a virus because I downloaded the crack and people out there don't download cracks it will give you a virus and make sure you uh, find the cracks which have um, the w them on the internet like YouTube sometimes like if you go to Hypercam they put it in the description just the code and the name, the serial name, and things like that. So you don't have to uh, do anything really badly. So it doesn't harm your computer. It doesn't put any anti-malware, spyware, rouge in there. So um, if you looked in my previous videos, I made this little introduction. It says the Sprint 007. Put this little cool music background. Pretty cheesy too. So you can make your own this time. Intros, you have the middle part section. You have the end. It's really nice. So let me just go ahead and show you some of that. So I'm going to go to the third one because I know that. Actually, I'm going to go to the fourth one because I like that one. Um, all you have to do is take it from the Quantum Music Library, drag it all the way up. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just clicking wrong buttons here and there. So all you have to do is drag it to the first track. And I'm only going to be using one track for this video. Okay, so once that's there, you have options. So you have like these Pac-Man things at the sides. Um, just, yeah, Pac-Man things. You can trim the start, so you can just trim it like that. You can trim the end, so the trim's at the top. Control Z. Um, you can edit the loop start here. And you can edit the end. So, um, that's all for that little, little sections there for the Pac-Man check sections. You have this little red crossbar, which is your indicator where you are. And this is nice because you can just move it, you can just click, and it'll go there. You have this nice uh, functions tab, really um, fast forward, rewind, fast rewind, and play, and you have the back toolbar. Here, I'm not very sure, but it does have a loop playback, and I consider you not playing that back, because it's going to just go on and on and on. So you have the intro done. Let me just go into the loops. So let me find a nice looking one. Found it. I 
like like that one too. Not very much, but it's really nice too. So I'm going to uh, click right here to see how these two transition together. So how they move from one video, from one song to the another, to another. So I'm going to press play here. So I'm just gonna hit play here to see how these two transition together. So let me hit play. And um, they transition really nice, so you can't even tell that they move together. So I'm now gonna edit the end. And ends are really nice because there's a start which just gets everybody started. There's a middle where everybody's focused, and there's an end where everybody's sometimes happy to leave, go do their things, and actually wrap it up. So I'm going to be using one of these, so let me just see here. And I really like that one. Because it has this, you know, it's rock tune to it. It's really nice. So I'm going to move it over here and show you how these two, the body and the end, transition together. So here, I'm going to press play. And I know I like that too. There is a little bit difference, but I like the ending for that, and it's not a big, huge deal. So um, I'm not that too concerned. So you can also see the bit end for that. And there is the quantum tracks, and which I just got done talking about. But then there's the aviary tracks. The aviary tracks are where the aviary, the audio editor, stores their music and audios, and. Um, I'm going to be talking about in the next video on the rock beats or the music editor or the audio mu music edi edit editor from Aviary on how to do that too. So Aviary has uh, really bad songs basically. So um, I don't like them at all. Once it was, I'll come back. There's the rock beats tab, so you can find the name for the rocks. You have SoundCloud. I've never used SoundCloud, but if you have, please leave a comment below telling me how SoundCloud is, because I really want to know. Okay, so once you have done that, there are some things at the top, and green, which says File, Edit, Track, View, Transport, and About. And if you go into File, it's basically like you downloaded it, you can save it, like in Camtasia Studio, um, Microsoft, uh, PowerPoint, things like that, just whatever just came to my mind I just said. So you can go to uh, the edit tab, you can go to the tracks tab, the view, transport, bout, whatever, whatever. Um, you have the zoom tools, zoom, uh, um, you have the zoom in tool, zoom in here. So if you do want this um, audio here, I'm going to be playing it at the very end of this video so you guys see how it is and it's going to be probably like at the 13 mark, I don't know, whatever mark, it at, mark it's at, I don't know how long I've been uh, recording this for though. So you have the edit tool where you can just go ahead and edit, you have the select tool, selecting things, the scroll tool, you just scroll up and down, diagonal, in, in a way diagonal, or side to side. Okay. So at the top you see untitled and you haven't saved it, save as. You know, click on save as. Uh, type in a creation title. So I'm going to type in subscribe to my channel. And in the description I'm going to type in follow me on Twitter as techstatic101. So techstatic101 is my Twitter name. And in the tags is my name is Dan. It's a very, very nice uh, audio because it says subscribe to my channel, description, follow me on Twitter, and my tags. My name is Dan. It's very random also. So once you click on save as new creation, it's going to load up here. And once it loads up, it's going to say uh, now that you have saved your project. So I am logged in here. So, 
um, if I just close out of here and click on save as copy, um, you'll see that um, here there's going to be, if you, if you don't have a uh, account, there's going to be in red fine print here that says um, you, your uh, information is not going to be erased. It's going to be saved. Just create an account. And once you click on it, you just have to enter basic information, email, um, username, confirmation, password, confirmation, password, and hit login. And then it's going to take you back here. All you have to do is click on save as creation. So I'm going to click on mix down. And if you don't know what mix down is, mix down is a remix of the audio that you have made. So I'm going to click on mix down here. And it's going to say preparing your mix. And it's going to take a few seconds um, because my computer has been acting a little bit slow for the last week. Um, I don't know why. I think I should just get rid of some not unnecessary um, applications that I've installed. Um, so that's basically the thing. So I'm going to open up Google here just to waste time and just show you that it, it is going to cover 15 minutes or so. So once you go into Google, you type in aviary. Oh, let's see, music editor. Just to give you a glance at the next video, go to images. And you can see that um, it's the music creator. Sorry, music creator. Just press dots and things. It's so boring. Um, I prefer this more for you guys. So as you can see, it's 88% loaded, and I'm just gonna go babbling on until it co cooperates uh, with me. Uh, hope you like this video. Uh, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time editing this and all that. So once it is done, it's gonna look something like this. It's gonna say your creation. Under that, it's gonna say subscribe to my channel. Dot egg. They save it in dot egg, and it's really weird. But just get used to it. Um, it's gonna say 15 seconds long and the kilobytes of it. It's gonna uh, show you the volume. Just click play. Here's a sneak peek. Okay, and you can download it as an MP3 or a wave. I am an MP3 fan. And you click on download. Two seconds is all it takes. Not even two seconds. Just type it in. Click save. And now that's now it's in my downloads. So if I, I can also publish it. So it's a draft right now. So if you f see uh, anywhere in here that says save or publish it, you can publish it. So anyone out there can see. I don't want to publish it. And if you want this, uh, I'm going to make. I'm just going to tell you now. If you want this audio, I'm going to put it at the very end. And after the, I play the audio, I'm going to uh, tell you the guidelines. And I'm going to tell you the guidelines right now so you don't forget it. Okay. So to get it, you have to subscribe to my channel. And the, in the comments below, say, I want that audio. And you can use it for anything you want. And if you want a longer audio or audio just for your background music I'll make them for you don't worry um, I'll make them for free all you need is to subscribe to my channel and follow my videos that's all I ask not just subscribe I want the viewer partnership too uh, viewer um, participation too so once that is done you can just exit out and that is it for this video. I've spent a lot of time on it, and I'm the Sprinter Double Sim. Please rate, subscribe, and comment for more videos. Thanks. Don't forget to follow Tech Static 101 on Twitter for the fastest updates.